backlash over his sexist remarks on Sena candidate China NC Uddhav faction leader Arvind Savant, an MP from the Shiv Sena UBT, has issued an apology and said that he has never insulted a woman in his life. बड़ा माहौल भारतवर्षी में मचाया जा रहा है कि अरविंद सावंत ने किसी महिलाओं का उम्मान किया जिंदगी में नहीं किया पचपन साल राजनीति में हूँ अगर हुआ तो मैं उल्टा अग्रणी रहा हूँ उनको सम्मानित करने में उसके मैं उदाहरण बहुत कुछ दे सकता हूँ कैसे मैं अग्रणी रहा हूँ लेकिन दूसरी तरफ मैं इतना ही कह सकता हूँ जिस तरह से जो वक्तव्य हुआ वो वक्तव्य को उसका अलग अर्थ लगा कर जान मुझे टारगेट किया जा रहा है वो मुझे खेद लगता है दुख लगता है लेकिन फिर भी मेरे वक्तव्य से किसी की किसी को मन को ठेस पहुंची होगी तो मैं दिलगिरी व्यक्त करता हूं मैं उनका सम्मान करता हूं और मैंने कभी पिछले मेरे पचपन साल में अवमान नहीं किया आज भी नहीं करूंगा कल भी नहीं करूंगा Arvind Savant's sexist remarks had triggered a massive backlash from across the political spectrum with the ruling Mahayuti government pouncing on a statement to accuse the MVA of being anti-women in their mindset. Chief Minister Shinde had said that Bal Thakre had been alive if he had been alive. Arvind Savant would have been given a dressing down by the party chief. Shaina NC had lodged a police complaint against Arvind Savant and claimed that while she is pursuing the matter legally, Maharashtra or Maharashtra's Larki Behins will give a befitting response to their own on the polling day. बहुत ही दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण बात है एक बहन के बारे में ऐसी बातें करना ये बहुत ही निंदाजनक है इसकी कितनी निंदा करे उतनी कम है बड़ा साहब ठाकरे जी के विचार वाले कहते हैं और विचार कैसे है देखो बड़ा साहब ठाकरे जी अभी रहते तो सही में मुंह तोड़ देते मैं इतना ही कहूँगा इनकी फितरत ही है ऐसी हम गुवाहाटी में तब भी ऐसे ही उन्होंने बदनाम किया था हमारे महिलाओं को हमारे बहनों को अभी सारी बहनें ये आने वाले चुनाव में ऐसे जो बहनों का अपमान करने वाले लोग हैं उनको सबक सिखाएंगे एफ दर्ज हुआ है नागपाड़ा पुलिस स्टेशन में सेक्शन 79 और सेक्शन 356-2 आउटरेजिंग द मॉडेस्टी ऑफ अ वुमन इलेक्शन कमीशन और महिला आयोग ने भी कॉग्निसेंस लिया है ये एक जंग है महिलाओं के सम्मान के लिए ऑब्जेक्टिफिकेशन ऑफ अ वुमन आउटरेजिंग द मॉडेस्टी ऑफ अ वुमन ये कोई छोटी समस्या नहीं है सच्चाई सबके सामने उस वीडियो में है लेकिन ये मनस्थिति और विकृत मानसिकता देखने मिलती है And I'm being joined by my colleague Abhishek at this point. So Abhishek, quite a shift in position of Arvind Savant. He has almost uh, issued an apology, saying, "If at all anybody, it's not like a direct apology to what he said yesterday. Was this was a word that he used is normally used. He used it for a man and a woman, and in an exclusive to you said this was not a gender bias or a gender discrimination as such. But nonetheless, he has issued a sort of an apology." but how is this playing out in terms of politics on the ground is this also something that they are still going to take to the political to the voters because they had alleged that mba is uh, maha vinash agadi quite literally See, definitely you know if you want to understand uh, till yesterday uh, arvind savant uh, made up his mind and he was of the stand that he will not apologize uh, he stand by his statement he is ready to face the music uh, or he is ready to go and uh, be a part of the investigation as fir has already been filed but today uh, he took a press conference and he definitely issued a conditional apology and uh, maintained the fact that you know he respects the woman and he has been da- doing it from the entire political career and he doesn't mean his the statement was taken into a wrong context and it was purposely you know made as a fake narrative and a political vendetta in this election season but still if someone has a uh, 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 sentiments have been heard by his statement he 
uh, apologize for them. So definitely uh, the change in uh, the statement or the apology today by Arvind Savan that can certainly be understood by the political atmosphere and the elections ahead because that statement seems to be damaging UBT. And at certain point of time, uh, when the people or the leaders from across the party line and women leaders are attacking uh, uh, one person from a particular party, so definitely this was much expected, but it was though late. And again, he defended him, that statement. But no doubt... Uh, China NC maintains the stand that she has lodged the complaint, FIR has been registered, and police will take due course of action into it. But, you know, at the end of the day, the political atmosphere of Maharashtra in the election season has again heated up. And this time, you know, this controversial remark will be taken up, or you can say will be made an agenda by the BJP uh, in this election season. Though uh, Mr. Savant has apologized, but... Uh, it would not be so easy uh, in the way forward because uh, after the 4th of November, right. withdrawals will take place and then we will see a huge campaign by respective parties. So we will have to wait and watch right. out for how does this pans out, the statement, then the apology and BJP making it as an agenda. Right. Back to you. Right. Thank you very much for joining us with those details, Abhishek.